She lived the life the way she wanted to And made her dreams come true Hello beautiful being, thank you so much for joining me I'm Trini and I'm a spiritual worker, sound healer and tarot reader And I wanted to create uh, this video to hopefully answer any questions or provide some support to you if you are a person who has been asking questions recently about your existence, your purpose in life, and if you've been intrigued by the occult or occult knowledge and have been wanting to really explore on a deep level the way or the mysteries of the universe. Okay, so when you find yourself on that path, on that spiritual path, if you have a religious background, so if you grew up in a Christian home or in a Muslim home or um, in an environment, at, if you were in an environment at any point in your life where the belief system that was upheld was of a religious nature, then more than likely uh, one of the questions that will sort of pop up in your brain sometimes as you are exploring this new path. Um, you know, you, you really might start asking about heaven and hell and the eternal path of your soul. Because in most religious systems, there is a belief that if you do X, Y, Z, that is required of the religion, whether it's have certain beliefs or give something up or whatever, um, that you will go to heaven, and if you don't, you will go to hell. Now, 58% of Americans, this is according to National Geographic, and I usually don't spit out facts, but I did when I looked that up, <laughs> but according to National Geographic, 58% of Americans currently believe that hell is an actual place of torment and torture and pain. That's compared to 20 years ago when 71% believed that hell was a literal place. So we are moving in the right direction. We are becoming more enlightened and we're awakening to um, sort of put behind us and to rise above and go beyond those confines of religious doctrine, which really are just put in place in all honesty to control. If you can breed fear in someone and tell them, if you don't do this, this, and this, you are going to be damned to hell for all of eternity. You're, to, you're going to burn in a lake of fire. I mean, these are the things I heard growing up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so in being exposed to those sort of comments and those fear invoking, um, situations that you're constantly being told that you're gonna have to suffer if you don't do this or if you do this um you can really you know th that can deter you if you allow it as you're on your spiritual path okay so you might want to explore something like doing a particular ritual and then you just all of a sudden think oh god i hope i'm not going to hell for this <laughs> because that fear will show itself as you try to push beyond the confines of it. Whatever it would keep you from doing, fear is, is trying to keep you from um, overcoming that, okay? So that brings us to the definition of hell. What is hell? Both heaven and hell are states of mind. They are our consciousness. They are a state of being, okay? So you can be in heaven, okay, not in a place, a geographic location, but you can be in a state of heaven right here on earth. And this would be a person who has balanced their energy. They find um, beauty in the simple things in life. They have achieved a certain level of contentment and they don't feel like they need to prove anything to anybody. They are at peace. That's a heaven state. Then you have a hell state and that would be uh, any sort of ongoing misery or agony, anxiety, depression, envy, um, 
just a, an overall lack of satisfaction with life and always searching for something and never achieving inner peace. If that is how you live, then you're living in a state of hell. It's right here. It's right here. You are either in heaven or hell. You may be sort of oscillating between the two sometimes and working some things out, but your intention is to ascend and to grow and to learn. So with that being said, there is no fear in pushing beyond those limits of what um, a religious belief system says is right or wrong, at least not for the purpose of escaping eternal damnation and hell. You don't need to worry about that because you are currently creating your own heaven or your own hell right now. Okay. And if you're still watching this video, then you are definitely on the path because for this to even interest you means that you're searching for answers or you're contemplating some very deep topics and so that's a beautiful place to be that's a beautiful place to be to be learning and growing and asking questions and finding answers so um please don't allow old systems and old beliefs and old ideas that were put in place to control you and to keep you from pushing beyond those limits. Please don't allow the fear of um, hell to frighten you and fill you with fear so that you don't achieve the growth that you are supposed to and that you deserve to be able to achieve um, and to experience. It's something that comes up a lot when you're beginning your journey and you're just starting on your path. And it's just a matter of breaking those old, or I should say rising above those old ways of thinking. And it's kind of like the rules of heaven and hell or the, the fear of going there and so therefore not pushing the limits. It's kind of like you as a very free spirit and a free thinker and a, an explorer, per se, um, someone who wants to really dig, right? It's kind of like trying to put something that is so big and beautiful inside a tiny little box. You can't do that. At some point, you are going to want to push beyond that. And if you're like me, uh, when I was a little girl, I was so magical. I was astral traveling at age five. I was communicating with crystals and going outside and connecting with nature. I was doing all kinds of stuff. And around the age of puberty, I just stopped, you know, because at that point in time, that's very common for people to stop searching around that time if they were initially um, attracted to the path, to a spiritual path. Um, it's very common during puberty to be so motivated to fit in and to belong to a group in society and to be accepted that a lot of times we put that down and we say okay I'm just gonna believe in heaven and hell and the Ten Commandments and the Lord's Prayer and that's gonna be my thing or you know this community that I want to belong to going to church every Sunday that makes me feel good that makes me feel like I belong so I'm going to lay down my curiosities and my desire to explore and I'm going to just go with this and so you go with it and then you're miserable because you're not living according to your truth and you are faking and <laughs> that produces a lot of pressure within you where it's like you just feel like you're going to burst, you know. So um, after that comes a dedication to the path because you know that there is no other way for you. You've tried it. You've put on the hat and the, the costume and pretended to be someone else who was comfortable not asking questions and comfortable with just being a believer. And I don't want to say just like it's, you know, so derogatory, but believing, okay, without knowing, without experiencing. And after that amount of pressure that you have felt from not living authentically, you have to be 
you know, you have to go forward. You have to go full steam ahead and just be like, you know what? I'm just going to be me. <laughs> and I'm going to read what I want to read and watch what I want to watch and listen to what I want to listen to and ask the questions that I want to ask. And that's how I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I feel is right for me. You know. So um, I understand being in that place. And... That's why I just wanted to make this video to encourage you to understand that that place where you feel under that much pressure and you are miserable and perhaps you're reflecting on painful experiences that you have had in your life, that is a hell state. But it is to propel you to your personal heaven state. And, you know, you might go a little bit in between the two sometimes, but that's humanity. You know, that's, that's achieving balance. Okay, so, but don't fear hell. Um, we are creating our heaven, okay? So I hope that this video has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care.